Welcome to the Security in 5 podcast. I'm Drew, the Binary Blogger. This is a daily show talking about news, tips, and opinions focused on IT and cybersecurity related topics for everyone. I believe we all have some security responsibility, whether it's at your home, school, work, or personal life as we use technology. The more aware you are of the security world around you, the more secure you can be. Thank you for listening. This is Security in 5. Episode 960 of Security in 5, and today I want to talk about what's coming next week. And I've talked about this and, and hinted at it for the last several months, actually last summer when it was first announced. I'm talking about Apple's iOS 14.5 update that should be coming next week. I hope it comes next week. They said it would be coming out in April, but you know, like most companies, they'll wait until the last week to release something like that. And technically, they they hit their mark just in the high anticipation from everyone else. It's like, well, you know, why wait, why wait to the last minute? But 14.5 has a bunch of new features and new bells and whistles and new emojis and support for new technologies, you know, the, the Apple tags and what have you. But the one that I'm focusing on, the one that I will cover extensively when it comes out, is probably the most important privacy control improvement um, in the history of the Internet. And when you look at breaches that have occurred recently, you have, you know, the 500 million um, Facebook breach, you've got LinkedIn breaches, you've got um, several others that are more leaks than breaches because it's it's aggregators and scrapers that are going and collecting all the information um, from these particular websites. The privacy control on iOS 14.5 is going to allow the users to control directly what information apps can collect on you or not. You can opt in to have them collected. It's an opt out type of approach. So when that 14.5 gets released, you install it, which it will be alerted right away when it comes out. I'll put it on Twitter. I'll put it on the Facebook um, Facebook binary blogger page. I'll put it on the blog. And of course, I have a podcast episode about it. When you install it and when you fire up your social media accounts, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, what have you, you'll get a new screen every single time to say, hey, here is what the application collects on you. Do you want to continue this collection? Yes or no. Now, the the thing about it is, is that if you've used these apps before, they've already got your data. It's just going forward, um, any new type of information that they collect on you, you can allow or disallow it, which is um, really, really powerful. Now, it, Facebook um, has gone after Apple full page newspaper ads and spun campaigns to say how awful it is. It's going to destroy business because really this feature is going to kneecap Facebook's business model. Facebook's business model is selling your data. It's collecting your information, collecting your information as you browse the internet using their Facebook super cookies. There have been attempts all over the place, specifically from Firefox, to containerize Facebook, to a lot to disallow or slow down that cross-site tracking, whether you're signed on to Facebook or not. But that's their business model. Collect as much data as humanly possible about you, about your activity, about your browsing, what you're looking at, what you're, you know, what you're saying in or on your phones, even though they don't use the microphones, and sometimes even what you're thinking about, because you're thinking about something, hey, there now all of a sudden there's an ad for it on just how does that work? By chopping this off at the mobile level, at the iOS level, iPads and iPhones, it puts a huge dent into that. So now from a business model standpoint, app app services like that are going to have to rethink about their free model. Um, but you know, if you want the premium services, pay for it. Pay for it with money, not with your data that they're profiting on and profiting from. And the free service that you're getting doesn't really outweigh the billions upon billions of dollars that they're getting by selling your data to ad trackers, marketers. Um, and whoever, and also which then it uh, allows it to be hanging out there, to be exploited, to be breached, to be sold, to be misused. Um, Facebook uh, might keep their data secure, but they'll sell the data to somebody else. They're not as secure. And now that Facebook data is now breached and, and exposed. Who's at fault? Well, the data's out there. But in, in any case, next week is going to be pretty huge. And when you look at what this will do to the application um, the app stores, the application drives that you, you know, tons and hundreds of thousands of free apps that are full of ads. Those ads are targeted coming from the data that they're collecting. But now when you install that free game and fire it up and say, here, it, it wants your phone number, your first name, your last name, your location, track you all the time. It's going to tell you exactly what data they're going to collect. You have to have the option to opt in to allow that. It's an opt out by default. Um, at least that's the way it has been advertised in the past. But it's going to be that you're going to have to say, yes, I want you to take my data. 
Um, it's not going to be, do you want to opt out? It's an opt-in type of approach. At least I hope that's the way it's going to continue to be rolled out. But in any case, iOS 14.5, it is coming. It might come uh, this week, probably not, but more likely it'll be released next week um, in um, conjunction or shortly thereafter of Apple's announcement of, of springtime products, new iMacs and the Apple um, the Apple tag, I think is what it's called. I think that's coming out, new Apple TV. They have an event coming up and they're probably going to talk about the 4.5 and then give a release date for that. But when it comes out, turn your updates on, get it updated as soon as humanly possible and um, embrace the privacy control back in your hands and away from these apps that have been collecting data for years and profiting from it um, at your expense. Security in 5, be aware, be safe. Thanks for listening. This has been another episode of Security in 5. If you have any questions on today's episode or any suggestions for future content, feel free to drop me a line, reach out to me at Twitter, post a question on the Reddit channel, or go ahead and drop me an email. If you want to continue to support the show, you can head over to the Patreon site. All the links are in the show notes of every episode. And remember, be aware, be safe. Thanks for listening.